Walmart hitting the tape earlier this morning with a double beat. Earnings per share coming in at $1.14. Revenue, $122.69 billion. Bucks. JP, uh, JC Penney also just hitting the tape, missing on its revenue number. Joining me now, Strategic Resource Group Managing Director Bert Flickinger. Bert, your take on Walmart. Take on Walmart, uh, great numbers. We've been through the stores worldwide, but what no one else is reporting, Dagan, is they're winning on patriotism. You go to Cumberland County, New Jersey, wars in the stores worldwide, little fastest growing retailer invading the U.S. out of Europe, and that Walmart's winning with Flipkart to Checkmate Amazon in India, throughout Asia. You've never seen so much patriotism in terms of Action Alley, U.S. flags, every shelf, every merchandising aisle. It's stimulating pride in people. They're buying more and Walmart's laying waste to the rest of U.S. retail. That's incredible. Mike. I, I love you taking it. We're, we're long Walmart, but when I looked at these numbers, just a quick glance, I, I didn't think it was a great quarter out of the company. And what concerns me, you know, people argued that they overpaid Walmart paying 3.3 billion for jet.com was overpaying yep. a few years ago. And I completely disagree. I think that they, that's a steal for Walmart. Yep. But Flipkart, on the other hand, mm -hmm. concerns me. Is that going to look like a steal a year or two down the road? Not a, not a steal, but a move to checkmate Amazon. So Amazon cannot lower prices fast enough uh, at Whole Foods. In our pricing study in Dallas, most competitive market in the U.S., Whole Foods is 70 percent higher than Walmart on the exact same items after Amazon lowered all the prices. So Walmart's going to be to Amazon on land and with uh, Flipkart uh, and with Jet, as you referenced right. so well, Walmart's going to start winning even more online. Uh, Walmart paid, what, $16 billion for that um, e-commerce giant in India, Flipkart. That's what Mike was talking about. E-commerce was up 33% in the quarter. Real, before we get to Christina, was that, where is that in terms of the growth pr um, based on the previous quarter? Is that faster growth for its e-commerce business? It's, 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 it's not as fast in a percent basis, but it's faster in terms of dollars. So real credit. Mm -hmm to the family and the board, turning Walmart over from a family-managed company for over 40 years to a professionally-managed company. And with Mark uh, Lorry, as, as you referenced so well, with Jet hiring my great uh, Cornell Summer exec student Dave Crisione from Amazon Go to run Walmart.com. Uh, it's it's going to be wars in the stores and wars of the world online. Christina, and you have some information on Walmart does beat Amazon on yeah, price. Yeah. Well, we know that they're investing quite a bit on the e-commerce side, and they said this month that they revamped the website. I checked it out. You're seeing Walmart logos a lot smaller. There's the partnership with Lord & Taylor. But there is a note that I saw from Guggenheim actually comparing the prices between Amazon Prime and and Walmart. And what they're finding is that a huge portion of the items, consumer staples, are cheaper at Walmart, which is why it pays to check the website. And I have here Clorox toilet bleach, because that was the biggest difference, $4.97 at Walmart.com, $13.45 on Amazon.com. That's a difference of almost $8.50. Same thing with Arizona green tea. Do you drink that? It's uh, the ginseng and honey yeah. one. I've definitely had that. 12 pack, $3.78 versus 723 on Amazon. And so they're finding a huge chunk, about 20% uh, is actually cheaper on Walmart. I guess, I, I, guess, I guess my question is, what is Walmart going to do about speed? Because with Amazon having Prime now, I'm a faithful Walmart shopper, yeah. but I'm also an Amazon shopper as well because I get stuff within two hours if I order it. What are they going to do to compete with that? And Walmart, uh, what we're seeing in their new test store in Colorado, store number 1199, great click and collect, FedEx right there. Uh, so you can pick up, you get uh, speedy delivery. To your key point, Amazon loses every time on weight, as you referenced so well, and on bulk. And there's with a shortage of truck drivers, Walmart's close within a two miles of 90% of U.S. consumers. Yeah. Amazon can't get, those, get there the last two miles as fast as Walmart will. So I think that, that's the biggest new frontier. We run a venture capital fund, and the, the big thing that everybody's trying to figure out is that last mile delivery, how to get it from, so they can get it close to us, but how do they get it to our home? And I think that's where the next big buy comes for either Amazon or for uh, Walmart in order to get the product finally to us. But it, so as I look at this quarter now with, with, in a little more detail, I think the big thing for me is that this puts Walmart, a stock that's traded off 15% coming into this number in the last three months, it puts them back in the game against Amazon. I think that this can clearly say that they're now here to compete head-to-head -head with Amazon. 
Yeah, They're and, still and their I have not seen the Walmart stores so well merchandised since Mr. Sam Walton, the for founder, was alive in the 70s, 80s, and early 90s. Uh, Doug McMillan, Greg Ferran, their team are just doing an exceptional job worldwide merchandising the stores. It's a different story. Let's talk about these JP, JC Penney numbers. They were out just a short while ago. Um, if you can take a look at these JC Penney numbers, so the loss was slightly earning the loss per share was slightly less than expected but the the I think the comp store sales if you can look that up really quickly sure. what do they do that what JC Penney <laughs> that's basically but let's take a look at the pre market yep. let's take a look at the pre market and see what this stock is doing it's off 9% again it was a clear disappointment here Bert yeah, and, and it's Joe McFarland to the rescue. So uh, Frank Blake, the seminal genius who uh, tur turned around Home Depot from, from the Bob Nardelli GE disaster. McFarland was head of retail ops. Now Joe McFarland's head of JCPenney uh, buying merchandising store ops. Mm -hmm. And Penny uh, made, a, made a lot of mistakes, especially in men. But with the bankruptcy of Bonton and their six operating companies, uh, Sears and Kmart, next in line to go. There's a lot for JCPenney to harvest in terms of shifting another $2 billion in sales. So bad news, uh, pain in the report today uh, gains as there's retail rationalization in this ongoing retail ice age, uh, which is a Fox exclusive in terms of reporting uh, where the uh, more capable merchandise uh, merchandise retailers will capitalize uh, on the less well capitalized retailers and they filed for bankruptcy and liquidation. You said birth rate too, Dagan, down. That's key with the Toys R Us bankruptcy. Right. That's going to shift a lot of toy sales to Penny in the, in the uh, fall and holiday period too. I remember this, the old Sears Christmas lookbook that yeah. we used to get. So again, Perfect. it's not helping Sears. Bert, great to see you. Bert Flickinger, you, thank you so much.